This past weekend, Genesis X went down in San Jose, California, and it was the most important tournament of the entire year thus far. It was also a packed event with so much to talk about. Insane upsets galore, crazy losers runs, and plenty of tense Game 5 sets. There is so much, in fact, that I don't think one, two, or even three videos on it could do it justice. So, dear viewers, that's why I'm introducing Genesis Week. That's right, this week's uploads will be solely focused around Genesis X and everything notable surrounding it. Today, I'll be covering the top 8 of Ultimate Singles of Genesis X, going over how they got there and how they actually did within the top 8 itself. However, the videos for the rest of this week are Every Major Upset in Smash Ultimate Singles, Melee Singles Top 8, Ultimate Doubles, and Rivals of Ether 2 singles. Now, the order I just listed those in aren't necessarily the order I'm going to do them, just the order that I think would be the easiest. But let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see me cover first as a part of Genesis Week. But today, we've got to cover top 8 of Ultimate Singles. Just a reminder before we begin that if you want to support me monetarily, you can do so by using the links to my Patreon or channel memberships, which are in the description below. With that out of the way, let's get started by going over Losers 8s, those sets being T vs Tweak and Neo vs Shattuck. I'm sure you're all excited to see the Corrin ditto, so let's go over that set first. Neo came into the event as the 24th seed, the lowest seed to make top 8 at Genesis X. Neo started off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly to make it into round 2 pools, where Neo got notable wins over Ouch 3-1 and Peckham 3-0 to make it into top 64 from winner's side. And this is where things got real, as Neo first lost a close game 5 set to Shuton 3-2, dropping into losers and immediately having to clutch out yet another game 5 set versus Onin, winning it in the end to move on in bracket. And then, if the past two sets hadn't been close enough, Neo had to win two game 5 sets back to back, first defeating Zachary 3-2 impressively, before reverse 3-0ing Ken to make it into top 8 from loser's side. Shaddock came into the event as the 20th seed, the second lowest seed to make top 8. Additionally, the duo of Korins make up 2 out of 4 players who made top 8 without being top 8 seeds. Shaddock started off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly, moving up into round 2 pools and defeating Winter Please Call Me 3-0, Noi in a close game 5 set, and lastly getting an insane upset win over Yara in another close game 5 set in top 64. Unfortunately, Shaddock's winner's bracket run ended here, losing to Tweak 3-1 dropping into losers and first defeating Jackal in a close game 5 set. After this, Shaddock got two insane upset victories, defeating Gluttony 3-1, and lastly defeating Meister in a close game 5 last hit scenario, in order to make it into top 8 through losers side, in order to face the fellow Corrin, Neo. Get the two frame with the pin, I mean, those thoughts are going to melt away. Absolutely, man. Really gonna feel like at some point it's gonna come down to whose patience can reign supreme in a lot of these critical situations, especially when you have that timing that Shattuck does, man. This kid is just... Up till caught the double jump, and because of that, there wasn't too much timing mix-ups, right? Oh, and now, no! not gonna confirm off the oh. future, Aaron. Oh my goodness, yeah. there's the downer. Double dip on that! And I close this back. You don't want, yeah, I was gonna say, you do not want Nail hanging around and letting him get a little string going as well. Before you know it, you're just in that 60 or 70%. Not what you're trying to face, but nonetheless, oh, that is exactly oh. what Nail is bringing to the table. The patience, Trump. But as long as Shattuck, if this is not too bad, oh, oh, oh. stay out. And if there's anyone that knows how to SDI that forward smash, it's gonna yep. be these foreign players, but Nail could it be the future. I'm very excited, man, but. Again, like I said, it all starts with the blueprint, and that is both of these guys holding it down. Another great oh. exchange. Oh, nice catch with that back there. Tremendous. Another great start for Nail, and this time Charles getting his two frames off. And just like that, we are almost dead even, Charles. And Shattuck is down, taking his risk. The air dodge doesn't get punished, but the up throw on the platform is going to be enough. The up air doesn't get the punishment. Good position. Oh, the drift back on the... Up special as well, great stuff with the pin going to connect, no kick required here. And I feel like every single game, this first stock really tells everything for the rest of the game, right? Yep. It's so hard for Korn, and I mean, they're just doing such a great job. But, oh, the charge on the normal getup. Korn having one of the few smashes on the out from Shattuck, but are you able to recover once again? Gets to the ledge here, goes for the ledge drop, double jump, still goes for the regrab, still not getting it, and then the pin to retaliate. The Shattuck mix-ups are at the business Smashville being the final stage. Oh, I love that uh, rising neutral air. 
the trade. Yeah. It's a big one, though. Is it enough? It is. Wow, what a trade. Neo putting himself in a position to succeed, and succeed he did. And now we're seeing, I mean, that was such a great sequence coming out from Neo. I love the neutral air during that edge guard so sequence. Good. And, I mean, we're really seeing it pay off, but of course, you already see Shattuck going more towards attack on one neutral air, but here's go. the forward air starter. Nice. Gets the reset on the air dodger. Right. There's going to be a lot of damage. Shattuck said, I got some patience too. That's what this coin ditto is really coming down to. 87. Who's going to strike? Who's going to make the attempt first? Going in. Okay, the pin. All oh, nice. But what's the thing? Is that enough? Oh my God, it is. Neo slays the Texas Beast himself. And in an insane nail-biter Game 5 set, Neo defeated Shattuck 3-2, moving on in bracket and eliminating Shattuck at 7th place as the 20th seed. This was impressive for many reasons, chief of which being the fact that the last time the two of them fought in the money match at Super Smash Con, Shattuck swept Neo in a 5-0. So seeing the adaptation from then to now was pretty crazy. Either way, it's now time for us to take a look at the other side of Loser's 8ths, Tweak vs T. T is the third player who made top 8 without being a top 8 seed, entering Genesis X as the 11th seed. T started off the weekend by getting through pools, dropping a game to dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign, but winning the set anyways to make it into round 2 pools. Once here, T first had a close game 5 set with Ryukai, the French Fox main I mentioned in my pre-Genesis analysis for top 8ing the Genesis X pre-local as the 116th seed. After this, T defeated Eren, likely the best Mii Sword fighter player in the world, in a 3-0. And lastly, in top 64, T defeated Shiryuki in a 3-0 set. After this, however, T would end up losing to Ken 3-0, dropping into losers and first defeating Cola 3-1, before moving on and defeating fellow countryman Gak 3-0, who was in the midst of an insane run, before lastly defeating Shuton in a close game 5 set, in order to make it into top 8 through loser's side. And by the way, to all the commenters who may be wondering, I am being a little bit vague about the craziness going on in the bracket. Remember, I'm going to be making a video in the coming days solely about all of that craziness. So if you're wondering things like, what happened to MKLeo? How did Zachary do? And perhaps most pressingly, how the heck did Mia not make top 8? Well, don't worry, those answers will be coming in their own video, releasing very shortly. Anyways, Tweak came into the event as the 4th seed, starting off the weekend by not only sweeping through round 1 pools flawlessly, but doing the same in round 2 pools, only dropping a game once Tweak went up into top 64 and defeated Tarek 3-1. Tweak also defeated Shattuck 3-1, which allowed Tweak to move into winner's quarterfinals. Once here though, Tweak would lose to Zamba 3-0, dropping into losers before lastly defeating Riddles 3-0 to make it into top 8 through loser's side, in order to go up against T. These flow to your characters, yep. it's just not gonna work. But the down tilt to catch the grab, and T loves to do that get the grab through the hydrant. Sure, but you have so much time to oh. react to it. Oh, there's oh. a flip, the down tilt, doesn't believe the down tilt, the up smash. It finally connects here, and Tweak wins game number one. Love that from Tweak. There, going for that high monkey flip, the grab does get connected here, and T racking up quite a bit of damage. Here's the hydrant set up, the forward tilt angle down, gonna catch. Tweak hanging on the ledge here, but the bell as well. Oh, there, drop the please. back air. Oh my wow. goodness. Put those boots to work. Come on now. They watch that water kind of shooting out on both sides as well. And T will actually utilize that to move himself. And there's the uh -oh. up throw, the up air. Hey. And it's enough. The platform reset with the banana. Little homage to the classic hoo ha from games past right there that Diddy Kong did possess. Oh my goodness. But catches a big one to the face. And that's gonna do it, just lightning fast, strike on the life yet again. He is locked down this right side of the stage. Welcome to the Tweak Penitentiary. Hold on now, making a jailbreak though. Oh, he's that, out of there. That, he's out of there. That the angle for the apple is so weird, and you gotta you gotta really take into account all these things. But wow, okay, Tweak able to coming out from the instantly setting up the hydrant, but it's not gonna be enough. Catching the banana here, Tweak not able to retaliate. Oh, stuffing it out. Oh, the squad oh. dodge getting caught with the yeah. grab here. The forward oh. smash. Wow, what a call out, what a play. And that water as well. Okay, avoiding the apple. I mean, the apple has been really hitting up Tweak so many times this set, either for damage or just for the stocks. Oh, nice. I love that. Really smart and patient too, because he covered both options, right? If you roll in, I got to do everything in your power to get there. Somewhere in the back, I'm sure Sonic's is smiling. <laughs> You know the vibes here at Genesis 10. Whatever it takes to win. And I mean, this again, this is a bad matchup, but the board smash is gonna do it in. Tweak forcing the game five situation. It was meant. Studied for this matchup. 
It, I mean, if you, if I told you that this matchup's bad for Diddy, you might not believe me they, if you're watching this game fine. They might have you committed, Chuck. They think you're crazy. And oh, can you no. blame them? Because Tweak has... Now, how heavy can a character with no pants really be? <laughs> Bro got no pants. I gotta know. No pants or Tibbs. What, what is going on? But he does have the lead. He does have the momentum. And he does have the positioning. Tweak looking to finish the job. And he's going to do it off of that. Pop off. Let him know. Let him know who the hell you are. And in yet another close game five set, Tweak defeated T 3-2, moving on in bracket and eliminating T at seventh place as the 11th seed. This was especially impressive given the fact that Pac-Man is seen as one of the, if not the worst matchup for Diddy Kong. But before we can catch up with Nao and Tweak in loser's bracket, we have to take a stop up and look at winner's semifinals, those sets being Spargo vs. Light and Sonics vs. Zamba. Let's go ahead and start with Sonics and Zamba. Zamba came into the event as the 12th seed, being our fourth and final player to make top 8 without being a top 8 seed. Zamba started off the weekend by sweeping round 1 pools flawlessly, and nearly doing the same in round 2 pools except for a dropped game to D tier who plays Ice Climbers. Zamba then moved on into top 64, defeating Tilde 3-0, Gluttony in a close game 5 set, and lastly Tweak 3-0, in order to make it into top 8 through winner's side. Sonics came into the event as the first seed, starting off the weekend by getting through round 1 pools, hilariously defeating HBox, as well as round 2 pools, dropping a game to JDV on the way into top 64. Once there, Sonics defeated Akikikusu, who we will definitely be mentioning in the upsets video, in a 3-0. Additionally, Sonics defeated Zachary in a close game 5 set, and lastly Shuton in yet another close game 5, clutching it out both times to make it into top 8 from winner's side, in order to go up against Samba. Not about that, man, but some consistency starting to show for Zamba. He has quietly brought this match back to a very respectable, even two stocks. Both of them in it to those triple digits, which means the right read at the right time. Zamba could definitely take this lead back. And speaking of which, Charles, right on cue, like I'm talking right into his ear. Great cross up with that up air. Very safe on block here. And there's the spin move in to the homing attack. Oh, there's, oh, cross up. No, the air dodge comes out, but look at the frame trap. Yeah. Oh, no, Sha. Okay, okay, okay. It was by design. It was by design on that one. <laughs> Juking us out a little bit. The back air. Oh, my goodness. Sonics. Great. Are you going to keep it going? Bro, it's like an all star game. He's alley ooping with himself. Dang. Really, the gyro play. I mean, we don't see too many of the zero to deaths. Oh, but there's the down tilt. Yeah, and at certain characters, at certain percents, you can go ahead and get that without getting the tumble. The back air, the air dodge really coming through there, but. Got him. The next air dodge gets is. caught. Ending attack yep. really gonna cost Hold it so much. Crazy. Oh man, okay, so both players back on the stage here with the reset. But oh, getting buried. Oh, caught Spyro. him out. Caught him out. Give us with the either hydrant or the banana, right? Utilizing your items not only for offense but fading back into it for the defense as well. Dude, this is actually insane. Like, this is like a complete one-sided slaughter at the moment. Like, obviously, if Sonic is able to take the stock. It could be a different story, buddy. In fact, Luke. Oh, nice. the back air. That was brilliant, Sonics. That was brilliant. Let him know. Even at a deficit, you still got some life here. Ooh. 130, though, after the hit. The air dodge. The time in there. A grab, man. A grab could really end this whole set. But an up smash will do the same damn thing. And just like that, Zamba catching the And in the end, Zamba defeated Sonics in a 3-0 sweep moving into winner's finals and sending Sonics down into loser's quarters for Cisneo. But if you were watching this tournament live, the set itself wasn't the best part. No, the best part of this set was the post-game interview. Just listen to this. Everybody, back to back to back to back. All it really is consistent practice. Look, you know, I don't really practice like that. I'm just better, but you know, I mean, it's one set at a time, only two more to win Genesis. And I mean, low key, it's really not that hard. I'm going to stress it to you guys, me being ranked 15, fraudulent ranking, literally insanely trash, significantly better than everybody, and I'm going to prove it. This tournament and this year, best player in the entire globe, doesn't matter where, I'm going to be there. I'm going to win. And you know what? Anyone that doubted me, keep at it. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep winning no matter what. Honestly, it speaks for itself. But now it's time for us to look at the other side of winner's semis, Light versus Spargo. 
light came into Genesis ago. X's D7 seat, he did starting not off the weekend by stooping round one to and round two pools that without dropping a I'm single sure game, notably defeating Flo on the way to top to four. And this Once there, to the light defeated Louis Money 3-1, who we talked about a lot in our pre-Genesis analysis, before having two very close game five sets for some riddles and Meister. Clutching both of them out in the end to make top eight, both these players had a Spargo came into the event as a third seed, starting off the weekend with getting two pools, dropping the game to Greninja Main Chowder in round one another one of those and another to Ice Climbers main hammer bro in here. This game Lastly, play is just too good, and these are two of the fastest players to do it. Once there, Spargo defeated Blue forever, 3-0, Ashimo in a close game 5 set, and lastly getting revenge on Ken from Port Party 8. This time using Corrin instead of Aegis, and clutching the set in a game 5 in order to make top 8 from winner's side to go up against Light. At the moment. Ooh, tries to go for the jab, one grab. There's the back here to connect. Oh, this forwarder putting light in a real wow. bad spot there. And just like that, Spark. Definitely count. All right, grab right here, but that's a fox grab. That ain't going to kill, but the positioning might be enough. The parry and the jab going to send him outward, but the limit on time. And Spargo surviving every damn thing. This is nuts. Yeah, and right now you just need the Got final him. blow, but the whiff grab finally going to get hopped on over the being in this top eight, which is just absolutely crazy. Really just goes to show how much everyone else has leveled up in ultimate. Oh, nice. All right, Sparta, here we go. He is picking it up early. I like that. Just let it go. Quick draw. Let's that limit blade slice on through. Great DI coming out for Sparta. Not going to let Light get a conversion after that. Up be out of shield, great defense. Oh, man. Back and forth, but definitely in favor of Spargo here. And the up smash trade nice. with the grab is going to do the trick. Love that, Spargo. Spargo. Glowing blue, the reverse up tilt. Yeah, man. Glowing blue and leaving light black and blue because this beatdown ain't stopping right now. All the momentum has shifted to the side of Spargo. Welcome to the man, maybe the most feared player. This is so dominating. Light going straight at him. But even if he does get the stock, man, you have got quite the mountain to climb. Another neutral air fading back with the illusion. Yeah, and Spargo right there just checking. That might be it. Yeah. illusion, yeah. that forward air wow. covering so much. Air. Really working this platform layout into his favor. Nice. Pretty, pretty fearless, too, man. Again, as you said, utilizing those platforms to his advantage. The last part going to connect, wow. but Light able to survive. That's the will to live kind of DI. I don't care how much will you got, there's only so many things you can survive. Limit's about to run out, it's giving him great neutral stats here. You get increased movement speed and that fall speed, and right now has already racked up 65% with just the stat bonus. The fact that he was able to actually get that in the closing moments of that limit being exhausted is insane. It's enough to propel him through, and straight down, light goes to the blast zone, and straight up. And in the end, Spargo defeated Light 3-1, moving into winner's finals and sending Light down into loser's quarters to face off against Tweak. And since we're already talking about it, let's just go watch that set now, shall we? Of all the Horse. top tier characters, yeah. Fox is Diddy's worst matchup. But then obviously there's some other characters like Pac-Man or Duck Hunt that aren't necessarily really high up there in the tier list that can do really well versus this character. But we'll see how uh, Tweak goes ahead and deals with Fox's speed, right? And then sometimes- That's an option. It's great up tilt. Fresh, but still not quite enough. And this is probably going to be a stock right here. There it is. Nicely done. Tweak immediately retaliating in an early lead against Light, who absolutely needs to pick it up. Yeah, I mean, only 43%. But the one thing about Light in... Uh-oh, that's a kick there. And you can't... You can't... Man, that air, the directional air dodge to disengage the back air. Is it enough? Absolutely not going to charge barrels here. Light trying to go for the shine, but it's not going to connect. Forward air to hit Light off stage. Oh, Two frame. he bet it all. He bet it all on that up air to connect when he was coming back. Just to all right, here we are. Game number two, right back at it to stadium. Can't imagine there's a uh, red fox. OK. I, that was quick. Uh, <laughs> Dash attack with Tweak, able to set up the banana. And that's another thing that makes this matchup a little tougher. I mean, Diddy doesn't have too much time to set up banana because Correct. Fox can just close the gap so quick. There's the banana slip, the forward smash all the way from downtown, from right side to the left. Tweak right there. Oh, catch them with the shine, but the barrels have plenty of juice to get him back safely. I mean, this is just a combo exhibition right now. Good grief. Lord have mercy. And again, Tweak didn't pick up huge the lead, so that could be a huge mental blow here. Oh my goodness, not able to convert. That is so big. Oh no, here we go. Maybe something brewing for Light. 
He still got an opportunity. Oh, good reaction. Can we survive? No, we cannot tweak. Handily takes care of Light in losers. And ultimately, Tweak defeated Light 3-0, moving on in bracket and eliminating Light at 5th place as the 7th seed. Tweak now sat in loser semifinals, and to see who else would make it there, let's take a look at the other side of losers quarters, Nao vs Sonics. What we have here, I mean obviously Nao, especially after that victory versus Shattuck, might have a lot of momentum on yeah. his side. Sonic's gonna have to shake off that lap with these spring edge guards. Sonics is going for a lot of low risk, high reward yeah. edge guards, where it's like, okay, if I snipe your double jump with this spring, it's a stock, and if not, I get back on the stage, I still get my ledge trap, and it's working out so well. Mm. Yeah, like we said, man, it is definitely, oh no, not enough juice to get back there. Sonics with a two stock lead. Nao taking him to the corn alley, the robbery, actually, the heist has activated. Actually cannot believe this is technically still anyone's game. Nao has played this perfect, can he survive? Not gonna be enough, we kinda knew that percentage was too high. But for Paradox back to the stage here. Tries to go for the Nair, but the mm. drift back into the spin move. Oh yeah, Sonic's playing extremely carefully, closing in for the immediate grab. Oh Double wow, back nice. air. Yeah man, just tracking him perfectly off the loop for offstage. Tries to get the back air, but the wings clipping it. It's still 87%. Yeah. Nice. Oh man. Oh, and you know what? I almost exactly, I was gonna say, kind of just like, he forced him to go. High recovery though. Dude, I love the fact that they're both being so fearless, especially Sonics. I mean, he is going off the stage, trying to put his stamp on this first stock, and he does just that. Let's yes. see. We had so many crazy offstage interactions, a lot of mix, but wow, the neutral beat connects. And of course, Nao, we saw so But it just put Sonics in position to wrap this up. Easy bait combos coming out, but a little bit of a combo breaker there from Nao. To use those strong aerials of Corrin, but for how long? And, and finally, catching that stall, right? Nice, I love that. Do not. Oh no! That's. Uh... I, I loved it till I didn't nail. Those the up air to get rid of the forward smash pressure, but gonna lose out. And in the end, Sonics defeated Nao 3-0, moving on in bracket and eliminating Nao at fifth place as the 24th seed. Sonics now moved into losers finals to face off against Tweak in the run back from grand finals of LMBM 2024. But this time, their set wouldn't be for first place, but rather for fourth. On the trip animation. Yeah, I saw it. More so than other characters, right? So like, yeah, he hates, it's not just his owner, it's just like, there's so many unique things, but man, somehow, some way. That's, I mean, I also feel that way, so I always tell Tweak when I talk to him about like play, I was like, I feel like I, I look at how you play and I can tell that you know what you want to do, or that you know what to do at times. So wow. you just second guess if it's gonna work, and that's what puts you behind. Yeah. It doesn't like 150, and Sonic's is, oh, 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 got it! We can't oh. get over there, unfortunately. Way too far away. Yeah, great GI. I like the setup where he's trying to put that man, just in case Sonic rolls way too long. Yeah. You know, he rolls directly into that man. It could be an issue. Wait, oh. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah there we go. That. Kicks in the back of the neck. And tweak, game. Real issue right here. For tweak, this, okay, great recovery wow. though. All right, okay, get some damage. Oh, it's oh. Get, yo. wait a minute, that's it. Yes, sir. Tweak Man. with max rage finds the stock first 190. Yeah, no, Sonics is just kind of been struggling to get uh, stocks just in general throughout the top eight. Right? Yeah, man, I, I don't think he's playing well in that regard. If we say that though, he's going to intercept with the offstage fair. That is recovery here from uh, Sonics though. Sonics. Yeah, can't get all the way out there. Oh, oh good yo, spring. wait a minute. And that's the shadow spring right there. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I'm back. Oh, no, them barrels oh, just exploded too. Attack. I saw the, uh, the yeah, right strange guys. Like, wait Boom. a minute. <laughs> Better watch out. They still, they will come through. He, he had the right idea. Oh, Nair. that should be enough. Yep, the Nair mm -hmm. popping him off the top. The body yep. trying to maybe try to get him to grab it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think just as you said, right, he's recognized that Sonic has been playing well for Banana and focusing on Banana, so he was trying to catch him, but Sonic's ever so patient, mm. man. Gets himself that landing there. And that bear's gonna close it out. Such a great tool, right? Because that it was it was an idea though, and it definitely it definitely worked out. Just didn't get the stock though. Yeah. Oh, okay. the up smash though. Okay. There it is. Here we go. 147. He has to get 100 damage and also not take any. Okay. Well, now 116. Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. There he goes. Oh my gosh, man. So quick with it. I thought the beat was about to drop. Jeez, look at this gap, and it's and right now it's it's Sonic's just rushing him down. That's that's the hard part. 
This is what oh. yeah, this is what Sonics does, man. He slows it down and then instantly switches up 104, 155. Next hit. Oh, Can't do it. God. He's too far oh, away. He's too far away to roll out. Sonic, living to see another day. The spring. Hold on. Watch the back air. Oh, that was scary. Yeah. Okay. Potassium's on deck. What do we do here? Oh my the God! Nair. What a crazy Nair! The Nair is crazy! Oh my goodness! And ultimately, Sonics defeated Tweak 3-1, getting revenge and moving into losers finals. To see who Sonics would have to face here, we have to take a look up at winners finals: Spargo versus Zamba. Yeah, I didn't deserve that. Bro. Yeah. I was ready to see it. Fight each other, man. Get it together. He looks so serious too, bro. Drew, Zamba looked like you know I, I really won't handle my plan though. Anyway, yeah, free. Let's get it, yeah. man. Money, winner's finals here. Zamba looking great. Those dares can auto cancel, so just another way to use that incredible move. Oh, oh all the setup. You already know. Oh, yeah, it's over. Where were you going to go, bro? Over. Nowhere. Top to the Beyblade to the head. Super quickly now. Zamba 112, though. Get chased down by the Pyro. You know, the, the kill power is on this character. However, though, this is not uh -oh. what we're going to be trying to recover. Uh oh. Wait, this is a real issue. Lacking. He's getting stepped on. you lacking. Thank oh, you. okay. He okay. got all that. He's dead. Yes, sir. He's dead. Mission complete. It wasn't the way that I thought it was going, but he's still going. I thought he would carry him all the way across, but that's 51 damage right off the the Halo platform. Yeah. That's not the type of damage you want to take on your last stock. If you really, as a fan has said, is just struggling to find stocks. They're able to find it there, down tilt and up air, easy confirmed. You never count the shit out. Might have been a hard first game, and honestly, a hard start to the second game, but he is right here bringing that heat to Sparta yeah. one more time, or to Zamba one more time. Yeah, a thousand percent. You can get back down. Oh. Good down to oh. up smash. Yes, sir. Yep. And we're going to do it with the myth where he said no more pirates. Oh, Man, what a setup. Wait, Wait a minute. No. I need I didn't have to hit. Yep. I need that to hit. Now he, well, now he pays for his sins. That's crazy, bro. Yes, sir. It's Pong transgression. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pay for your sins, man. OK. Was able, I mean, had a nice little uh, attempt at a conversion, but yeah, no, good uh, uh, beat right there for Spargo. Sorry. Spargo getting a little overzealous here with these side. I don't find his way out. He's definitely closing the distance and keeping Zamba kind of close. Zamba's still managing to get a couple taunts on here, a couple lasers on here as well. Putting, uh, putting Spargo back in the shield. Wait a minute. What are we doing? Man, uh oh. Uh oh. Yo. Wow. I know you're swinging. Yes, sir. I know. I'm just going to wait. Scoops. Oh. Oh. Yeah, trying to get him to uh, jerk back. Oh, wow, that was a very clean uh, back here. Zombie. That jab, good, you good damage. Die, die. Yeah, you don't, you don't die, but it's a good amount of damage. Now, pretty much anything will kill. We're probably not going to see Pyra. Oh my Stop god! To get away. No, oh, way. No, way. no way! No way! No way! No way, he's still living. Uh, Barely, but how long? Oh! Wow! Wow! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Zamba? Are you kidding me? With the face up, that's crazy! What? <laughs> With the face up! Oh no! And in the end, Zamba defeated Spargo's Aegis 3 1, moving into grand finals from winner's side and sending Spargo down into loser's finals for Sonics. In what many people predicted would have been grand finals, it's now time to see which of these two horsemen would get to move back up into grands. Right, and so like to see Steve here, Tong here, right, and see all that, man, all these games, been quality. But you know what? We're not done with Ultimate just yet. Losers final, Sonic versus Spargo. You already know. All right, man. Good catch there. Love the interruption. Miss Spargo. Dang. Oh, oh okay. Wait, that, Yo, that he's reversed. out of a shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, I was, was, I was, uh, yeah, he had no He wasn't yeah. back to stage. Yeah, yeah. Like, he got kicked out of his, uh, yeah. his yeah. favorite one. Speaking of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. 45 fresh ones. Oh, my oh, man. No. The edge Wait a minute. Oh, he, he had a shot. Oh, bear. This might be it. Okay, another way he yeah. might. I think he's gone. Oh, oh yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Sonic's when he starts lining up those bears. Back, back onto the stage. Again, I, now I like that. He's actually waiting it out. He's like, I know you want to drop that back here, so I just wait. Yep. Up oh, yep. Yep. what's Don't good? On me. Yep. Stay in the wings of freedom. Saying fly away. I'm back. Moving away, though. We still got a full extra stock there on Spargo. So even if he's able to get the stock yeah. off of Spargo now, he's got a lot of game to play. Okay. Not going to get the nearing he wants. Bear back to shield. Yeah, we're punishing that. See ya. Okay. Dang. <laughs> that fresh 60 in the corner. Up. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, got you lacking. 
I don't actually know if he needed to hit the uh, the back air to get kind of towards that idea. Whoa! Oh, okay, we'll take that in the bank. Yeah, maybe one, maybe just missed the dash timing. It's all good, but yeah, Spargo lives uh, to see another day because that smash did not connect. Also ends up getting a stock. Now can he turn this into? Let's see, yeah, nope. Man. Nope. Yeah. He can't turn it into anything. Nope. He turns that into. <laughs> Yeah. You know, he's like, I just need to force more situations like this. I need to put you off uh, of the stage and just capitalize on your kind of abysmal recovery at times. Yeah. Okay, good bear, though. Man, that Nair actually hitting underneath the stage. Wow, the pin. That's all we need. Right. How does, how does this end the neutral? You know that he's been a fan favorite of it. Oh, oh my, my God, God, the lady is a It's so extended. Before I go shook. Yo. Oh, Yo! Oh he, got he got him! He was beyond the up air! But, uh, Sonic's above him. If that spring comes out, it's even worse for Sonic's yeah. play. Okay. Wow. A weird, weird pin popped out yep. of it, but still, let's see another day as well from both sides. Good swing, good Okay. Pin. That's it! That's it! 5%, 44. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Oh, you know this bit up. Yo. Oh, God! You are gone! No! No, no, don't do him like that. The footstool, the footstool was crazy. Caution, falling debris, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. This game is absolutely starting yeah. to, My man is, he, he's he's putting all the kiss of death together. Yeah. Another one. What's oh, happening? Oh, he's, God. Gone. God. he's gone. He's gone. He's, he's, he's actually dead. gone. Bro. Absolutely destroyed on that last game. Sonic Are said, I got me? this done. Jeez. He held on to that. Yo. Game. He Yo, he ain't showed none of that. He actually yeah, yeah, showed yeah. none free, of that. Free, free, free. <laughs> he showed none of that, yeah. bro. And in a close Game 5 set, Sonics defeated Spargo 3-2, moving on in bracket and eliminating Spargo at third place as the third seed. Sonics now moved back up into Grand Finals for the run back from Winter Semis, for one more shot against Zamba and one more shot to become your champion of Genesis X. The Prince of New York, that Zamba. Right. Here we go. It's all locked in. What's up, y'all? I know y'all see it. What's up? I think it's that one right there. What's up? All right, there we go. Get it. Zamba Sonics. First game of Grand Finals going over to everyone's favorite, PS2. They make the best games. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Already starting up. You know, we're going to hold it back. We'll go, hey, check, check his reaction time. Oh, <laughs> check, check his reaction time. Middle, middle pillar. Yeah. We're going up. Problem, the Tombstone. The Undertaker is very happy. <laughs> yeah, Matt definitely would have finished the game, too. Man. Look at yo, my man's confidence. He's just floating next to him. <laughs> Get shot. There. Oh. The down tail. Way too far away right there. Maybe he's expecting. Oh! He tried to get that up there, squeeze it in there, but this game is starting to escape. Oh my gosh! No, I, that would have been death. It, it, that is death! That's the comeback! Crazy. The comeback kid! You can't count Sonic out either! My man is just swinging at him. Down tilt, up tilt. Yo, okay, yep, good catch. All the above. Wasn't enough to take him off that blast. But still very good catch. Hey, hey, these though, but down there, catching him over the edge. He tries to back here. Either the pressure gets the opponent, but like, wait, I'm so close to the win, or the pressure gets uh, to the person to lose. Like, wait, why am I losing? Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm me. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We go. Yeah, I oh. am me. Yeah. Yes, sir. The turn around here. A one to yeah. bear this time around. Yeah, bear in there. Yeah, just something. You know, get that little, as much extra damage as you can. Oh, oh yeah, he no. just left. Yeah. He left the premises. Yeah, yeah. Yo, hey, yeah. that shield. Oh, the oh, only tag. Get bear. Okay. Wait a minute. Back to the yo. Yo, he's moving. Yo, he read that. He read that roll so hard though. Yo, no way. No way. You're gone. No way. You are gone. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, talk. Oh man. To the up tilt. Okay. Yo. Yeah. The spacing on that was crazy. Oh, no. Yo, spacing on that was crazy. Uh-oh. And the up smash, Zamba. Two smashes to get him back to this game. One core smash, one going up. Oh, oh my man. Yes, oh, thanks. my god, he has a read. Mm -hmm. OK, going high. Down there. Yeah, good landing, too. Oh. OK, catch him on the other oh, side. The dog bear, yes, though. Yes, we're going to a game five. Zamba scrambles. Oh, man. Good catch. Nice spring. Yep, guaranteed. Good throw. Snap the corner. Okay, 
bounce back off the stage. Nama, once again, just a uh -oh. wait. Wow, we got the mix oh ups my on mix God. Ups. Why are you sleeping at the wheel? You don't, man. Good, great get up attack, man. That's just matchup awareness. Down tilt. Wait for it. Down smash. Yep. Checkmate situation. Put the soul away. Good catch. Okay. But again, can we get a kill here? Oh, Sonics. You see something. He sees something. No, bro. Oh my God! He says it all the time, and that's why he got that smile. If you yeah. can look at, he got that yeah. smile on his face. He says it all the time. Patience. Oh, not gonna get fair. Okay, Frank gets a catch. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be death. Okay. He's landing on him, you know. Sonic does like to drop a couple nares on yourself. He said, you know what? If I start raising the roof, Finally grab. Needed that. Mm -hmm. okay. Up one here. High toss. Good F build. Yeah. He's, now that was probably like one of the first one of the first few times that uh Ah uh, wow. wow. Oh well. Well then. Wow. Well then. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey. Oh man, I feel like I should yeah. hit it. But yeah, you know free. what? It, it was uh, I could have got you. Yeah. I held that slightly more. Man. Oh, he got you anyway. Yeah. But down's the match. Yo, split. And he turned it. Uh -oh. Wait, okay, watch your leg. The top is over. Stop spinning. He got on lucky. Now. Hold on now. Can he get this type of comeback? Hey, it's uh, in the name. My man's name is Rob. Uh -oh. Don't ever forget it. He can't he can indeed rob a game right now. Okay, trying to run away. Oh, no. oh damn. damn. Well, <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> I like the way he put himself back on the stage. Even with this lead that Zamba has, though. He's still very much hurting. And Sonic is very good at racking up damage early. That was a well spaced new flare. On the way back. Come back here and find it again. Stop jumping, okay. he said. Okay. Okay, this could be it. Okay. So, uh oh. This might be it. Yeah, this he, might be he it. Is struggling, he is this struggling to get back DK. to the stage. He does it here. Back on stage yet again. Back to the other Nair. side. Nair. No, not enough. The laser. laser. Though. I'm keeping my advantage. Oh, we locked in. We locked in at this. Yo, no, wait up, though. He said, get out of here. This is my time. With this the FTO. With the FTO, the meanest Rob Hook you ever seen. Yo. To take Genesis X as our champion, Zamba. Yo, Zamba, talk to me, baby. And even though Sonic's managed to reset the bracket in a close game 5 set, it would be Zamba who won that reset in a 3-1 set victory, eliminating Sonic's at second place and becoming your champion of Genesis X as the 12th seed. Which is just insane to think about. That's gotta be a record, right? Call it El Diablo, call it the Zombear, call it whatever you want. Rob's back air was lighting foes up all weekend at the Smash World Tour Championships, courtesy of Zamba, the New York player who made a run all the way from the last chance qualifier on Friday to a 4th place finish. Oh. Wait, sorry, that's the wrong script. How'd that get in here? Jokes aside, Zamba was lighting foes up this past weekend. And more than that, Zamba lit up the community with fiery trash talk like that post-game interview I showed earlier or doing the phase up sign at the crowd after defeating Spargo. Many people have said that Smash Ultimate has no storylines. We're too boring and we're too soft, not willing to talk a little bit of trash. Well, Zamba broke down all of those barriers at Genesis X. It seems to me like a villain is emerging in the meta. Or perhaps Zamba is an anti-hero? For now, we'll just have to see how our new Genesis champion will continue to terrorize everyone else. That's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Laster, Frostco333, Logan S, Persipom, Wawa, Mr. Sinister, Happy Feet, Ocean Man, and my tier 2 patrons Iltus and Diamond Blaze. Additionally, shout out my YouTube members Dicho Jr., Defective, Diarrhea, Fan of, Boston R, Iltis, Gone SSB, Kirby Fan, Nexus, Loco Soco, and my tutu members Mike G, Wuchang Forever, and Storm Troyper. Lastly, extra special thanks to my tier 3 patrons MistyBot, who says, in my opinion, Me Gunner is high tier, and Fat Blizzard, who says, Zamba is the best player on the planet. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links are in the description below. Also, I want to give one last sincere thanks to Let Me Fly for their continued support of my channel. Link to their Twitter page is in the description below. Don't miss tomorrow's upload, but until then, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you all so very much for watching.